Alright, I am watching the third match between Friendly Jess Pew, who is playing Swashbuckler, and Caitlyn the Buccaneer, which is um, a character belonging to Edward Teach, also known as Napoleon, also known as the Fearsome Rubber Ducky, also known as Honest Abe, so on and so forth. So, so far both of them have won one match and this is their third in I believe a best of three for the semi-finals of the Wild West tournament hosted by Pirate 101 Central. For this tournament, all participants must use companions from Cool Wrench and also their primary pieces of gear which is their hat, their robe, and their boots must also be from Cool Wrench. All other gear can be regular max level gear. So Jesse is wearing a Valor's armor here, Shark's Fury, Call to Arms, pet with Rainbow Blessing, Kraken's Lament, Cloud Spirit, Elusive, Vengeance Strike, and two ranks of Turn the Tide, weapon with Assassin, Fort, Swashbuckler Banner, Revive, Assassin, and Poison. And Caitlyn is wearing Call to Arms, Valor's Armor, Walk in Darkness, Pat with Time Warp, Rally, Backstab, Relentless, Turn the Tide, and Elusive, and this new champion weapon with Assassin's Gloom, Assassin Strike, Revive, Fort, and Fort. And Caitlyn's team consists of Thunderhoof, who is a companion that comes automatically with Hold the Line rank 1 and can learn Vengeance Strike, Blade Storm, Relentless depending on how you choose to build him, El Toro with the Accuracy and Dodge buff, and Billy the Kid, a Musketeer. Jesse's team consists of Bosun Bud, who is a mediocre Buccaneer companion, but he has a very special ability, which is the Starfish, that can be used to block off certain squares. So, what Jesse has been doing is he has been traveling across the board to place this banner in Caitlyn's territory, um, so past this line in the middle right here. And then he has been using Bosun Bud's Starfish to block off access to the banner so that his team gets the stat advantages from the banner without threat of Caitlyn's team taking the banner down. Then he also has Toro and then this companion that is unique to Swashbucklers, the Toriator Maestro, which has a different name depending on your character's name. And this companion can learn Bladestorm Relentless Repost. Um, it's a pretty good chaining companion. An alternative would be to use Mustang Sally, El Toro's wife, who can learn Repost rank 3, but then um, basically has more reaction hits and fewer chaining hits. So, so far, both of them are just figuring out positioning. Neither side has put on any really significant buffs yet, like the Toro buff or Valor's Fortress. Alright, Caitlyn is putting on a 10 round Valor's Shield, um, moving his team forward a little bit. Thunderhoof is in this position because he has hold the line rank 1 and can prevent Jesse's pirate from accessing Billy the Kid. Okay, Jesse cast Black Fog which makes all of his units hidden, so they can bypass Hold the Line, they can bypass both Caitlyn's Pirates Hold the Line and Thunderhoof's Rank 1 Hold the Line, and then <laughs> also gives them increased weapon power for when they hit. Okay, Jesse has managed to charge to Caitlyn's side of the board and is advancing his units.
Alright, Caitlyn's team is <laughs> trying to move out of range. So Jesse is choosing to target Billy the Kid, the Musketeer. Unfortunately, the Toriator blade stormed on other units and didn't chain Billy down. <laughs> I actually think they would have had a better shot at just taking out Thunderhoof because they are agility based and Thunderhoof is strength based. Musketeers are also agility based and also just with this positioning it's difficult to make sure all the chains go on Billy. But I see the logic behind going for Billy as well because Billy is ranged and can be positioned behind you know, Caitlyn's pirate, so... Yeah. <laughs> but now the thing is, now that Thunderhoof is alive, it can be used to block off access as well with the hold the line. <laughs> Okay, Jesse's team is dropping the Toro buff and also has the benefits of the banner, which Bosun Bud is currently guarding. So, Caitlyn will probably also drop the Toro buff in response. Alright, so Jesse put on a Valor Shield and moved his Toro and his pet cast Rainbow Blessing. So his team gets increased stats for two turns, minor increases in the stats. So Kaylin is charging Jesse. And Jesse is getting some reaction hits for strikes on Kaylin. For strikes and new posts. And 
And he's gonna fort? Oh no, he's gonna put on the V8 Thomas armor. <laughs> Yeah, the thing about Jesse's banner build is that because he gives up this slot, he has one fewer um, assassin strike. Okay, so Jesse successfully eliminated um, Caitlyn's Toro, which means that Caitlyn's team cannot easily take down the banner. And Caitlyn is gonna heal. Jesse is gonna poison. That's a regular assassin's glue, not the uh, the one with the curse. Jesse is hiding to wait out the debuff from the banner. Let me just check his stats right now. Yeah, the agility is <laughs> now at zero and the dodge is 150. And he is having his rose and bud hit Caitlyn. <laughs> So they are having some vengeance strike exchanges right now. Another one of Bosun Bud's abilities is that he can gobble the starfish for a crazy amount of health, like 1k health. It's a very underrated companion. <laughs> Because the epics are really bad, but just the starfish ability is very unique. Alright, Caitlyn is healing, and Jesse is putting on his shark's fury. So now Bosun gets a strength advantage over Caitlyn, and he's gobbling up a starfish to be at max health, basically. <laughs> Alright, now that's the biggest poison with the curse. So Caitlyn will be unable to heal for 5 turns. And Jesse still has his Toro and Bosun Bud. All of Caitlyn's team has been eliminated. However, the Buck Pirate is a very powerful unit. So it's not 100% certain that Caitlyn's losing just yet. Health is at 2, 3, 5, 6 right now. He's gonna try to tank. And Jesse is gonna shield in response. And Caitlyn put on the call to arms from the gear. Jesse 
used her own knives to restrict C Caitlyn's movement range, and Caitlyn drops another shield. Then Jesse does an assassin strike, and Caitlyn manages to stun Jesse with a vengeance. But I doubt that Caitlyn will be able to survive because the curse is still active. Yep, Caitlyn's health is dropping very low. One, one, four. Okay, you put on the Valor's armor. So the Valor's armor is gonna absorb, let's see, uh, about 1.37k damage. Don't know if Jesse has another assassin, because let me see, he has one from here and one from here. And I believe that's it. He might have like a backstab. Okay. Oh, he did have another assassin that he has been saving. Now they're. Uh, they just had like a first strike, vengeance strike exchange. Kaden hmm. blade stormed on Boson. Now it's like vengeance and repulse exchange. Because of Caitlyn's build with the elusive from the pet, um, the dodge is very high under half health. Yeah, elusive and rank 4 turn the tide. Okay, Caitlyn decreased Jesse's accuracy with Either a vicious charge or a brutal charge. Jesse might be out of guaranteed hits, I'm not sure. Alright, Jesse's gonna hide again. gonna hide in response to time out Jesse's hide. Jesse is healing, but it looks like Caitlyn will actually be able to survive the poison. Yep, healing right now. Caitlyn's health is at 659, still has a little bit of value left from the VA. Jesse's health is at 1993. And Caitlyn is powering up with the Kraken's Coilers. Alright, Jesse put on another poison, the Assassin's Gloom, which does not have a curse. However, Caitlyn has used quite a number of heals this match and might be running low, so let's just check. There is a revive here, and a rally here, and I believe that's it. Yep. Okay, so Caitlyn hit Jesse and triggered the uh, first strike, and then managed to stun Jesse and is going for a charge. But yeah, it looks like Jesse won this. <laughs> well played. <laughs> anyway, 
I hope you enjoyed this video um, and kind of got a sense of the quirky community surrounding this game. I really hope that King's Isle decides to implement a spectator mode for PvP it would make events like this a lot more interesting and involving. But yeah, leave a like if you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.